Hi, I'm Carolyn, trichologist here at Absalic. I'm going to talk a little about alopecia areata today. Um, we did discuss in our earlier video about our ebook number two, but what we're currently doing is we're going through our ebook number one on Facebook Live. So we did do a um, big talk about um, alopecia and the different types of alopecia last week. But today I just wanted to share, someone asked me a question if we could do a video directly on alopecia areata. It's a patchy type of hair loss. It's driven by autoimmune, so you're probably hearing a lot more about autoimmune tendencies these days. Generally, you can be born with these tendencies, but we're finding people who don't have any autoimmune hereditary background are developing these um, patchy type of alopecia areata. It tends to be temporary, uh, can be self-correcting, and it's also, in most cases, non-scarring, um, but it's identifying what triggered it for you is the important thing. We need to address if there's any other autoimmune tendencies or whether it's just that your immune system was lowered at the time that triggered the um, alopecia areata. We sometimes will identify that there's some deficiencies that are associated, so we might do a bit of nutritional therapy with our holistic approach, but we can also help um, topically, a lot of times we might do a bit of both combination therapy. The main thing for me is when you have had alopecia areata, one, the follicles are open and we can get regrowth, and two, that it doesn't happen again. So we talk a lot about your lifestyle and we put in um, prevention strategies um, more for the future. So if you have alopecia areata or you've got any questions or concerns about alopecia areata, as always, please drop me an email. It's info at absolute.com.au and I'm always happy to hear your story and um, yeah, share as much as I can to help you. Right, thank you.